A rally to stop the deportation for more than 100 Iraqi nationals. Dozens of people gathering at the federal building in downtown Detroit. That's where we find 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel with more on this. Brian. Yeah, guys, you can take a look right now. It's still going on, just wrapping up here. So the crowd starting to thin out, but take a look behind me here. You can still see crowds. This is that rally to stop the deportation. It's a peaceful demonstration. We've been told by police officers here on scene that it has remained so. And this is a deportation over the 114 Iraqi nationals that have been detained and marked for deportation by ICE. Many of them called in. They could face persecution if deported. Now, Congressman Sandy Levin, he was here today. He's asking ICE for specific info on each person detained, including what crimes ICE says they committed that forms ICE's determination that each person detained is an immediate threat to public safety. Also, representatives from the ACLU here today as well, they filed a lawsuit on behalf of those detained, but they say that that lawsuit may not cover each and every single one of those individuals that have been detained. So every person they are telling needs to get their own lawyer. Now, there is a hearing coming up on Wednesday as a result of that lawsuit, and that is where these detainees will have their say in court. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you for the live report. We have